What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at Edgar Davids. So a lot of people have been asking me about this guy. I mean he's a difficult one to not recommend because I genuinely think he's probably the best you know true pound for pound DMF in the game apart from Makalele right. So we're going to take a look at this version of him. You've got three days left at the time of recording this to spin for him. Let me know if you have spun for him. I think this uh, Juventus pack is quite decent. Davids is definitely the prize gem here, in my opinion, of him. He has a destroyer play style. He's got like really fast uh, acceleration stats and good aggression. And he's just a brilliant all-rounder. Now, this guy is more defensive than the other version of him, which we'll get to in a second. But he has B, fit, B rating unwavering form, blocker interception, he's also got track back man marking, slide and tackle, acrobatic clearance and the all important fighting spirit which a lot of people are sleeping on um, that you know play him as a DMF, I definitely think that that kind of puts him into a different category altogether right, so we will take a look at a player as well that kind of compares to him but there is really no comparison to Davids, I mean, apart from other epics or other legends, right? So for standard GP players, it is going to be difficult to get this blend of stats. I would say that probably one of the closest is Barrios defensively, um, but then he doesn't have, you know, the passing and the play style um, or the playmaking ability. But we'll get to that in a second, right? So we are just going to go over here and quickly do a comparison between this version of Davids, which you see here, and this Netherlands version of him. So this Netherlands version of him had 31 levels. This guy has got 39 levels, which is a lot. I think the big thing with him, right, is when you've got 20, 39 levels to go, you do have to kind of train him in a different way, but you get more uh, bang for your buck, I think, as long as you put the time in. So this Netherlands pack is actually more of a ball playing uh, DMF, right? So you've got plus six to low pass. You've also got plus four acceleration. And then his stamina, his physical contact, his balance, everything is higher apart from his defensive capabilities, right? So you can see here that this version of him straight off the rip has got 80 acceleration with 84 aggression. This version has got 84 uh, acceleration with 78 aggression. So you can see the differences there, plus six pass. And this guy's got 75 for his pass. This guy's got 81. So... With that in mind, I definitely think there's only one way to really train this guy. I mean, offensively is not going to cut the mustard from me. 10 into passing, 13 into dribbling, and a 10 into dexterity with 8 into lower body. Completely ignoring defending if you want to play him as a CMF and just kind of have that extra capabilities there. This is by no way means um, the most complete version of him. I mean, you could tweak this a little bit. The dribbling doesn't need to be that high. And you could pop it into defending to get his defensive stats quite decent, even at that, if you wanted to, and have a more complete version of him. But I genuinely think if you are going for a build of Davids, defense is the way to go. And this is how I've built him up, right? So passing and dribbling are not too important. But once you get your low pass and your ball control around the 78 to 80 mark, you can play around with that yourself. Obviously, you will get the boost with the form arrows. Sometimes I like getting the form arrow boost. And sometimes I like kind of depending on just his raw stats, just to be able to get to those thresholds of 80 or 85 or 90 um it's kind of muddled a little bit as to when they kind of kick in and kick out right so uh lower body i mean that's another one that's kind of fairly personal i think to you of how you play if you are going to be sitting davits in the pocket a lot and not chasing and hassling and you're using your acceleration for that then you can easily take two out of that and pop it into dexterity to get 90 acceleration a lot of people kind of ask me why is you know speed is speed more important than acceleration is it better to, to mix the both of them personally speaking the way that the defending works in the game lads from what i found after you know hundreds of uh, hundreds of games and testing and researching and you know um getting feedback and and you know asking questions of how the defensive capabilities work i mean if you have played the game long enough you will know that defenders have a base rate of speed and acceleration that goes beyond just their stats and it's just because of it's a it's a complete it's it's a gameplay thing it's at the core of the gameplay so with davits you know acceleration is going to be vitally important for him because of his lack of physical contact even though it's 75 it's still a bit low for coming up against really fast players that are going to be just bouncing off him so that's where the balance comes in that's where the stamina comes in and that's where the acceleration comes in you will be getting with the form arrow, you'll be getting a boost to acceleration and stamina to get that into the 90s. And then defensively, you're going to have a juggernaut on your hands there, right? So for me, I think that's probably the best version to go with him. Um, and as I said, if you do not want him to be that defensive, if you're happy enough with getting the boost with the tackling and keeping the rest into the 90s, you can do that, you know, and you can pop him up somewhere else if you want to play a little bit of football with him to get him to a 95 overall with the passing. 
Equally, if you don't really feel like that you're going to be passing with him that much and you feel like you're going to be on the ball a little bit more with him, then you can pop the dribbling in. But that would be the base that I would go would be for the aggression to be at 94 and the acceleration to be a minimum at 88. So for me, if I was building him, I'd build him like that. Um, that would be a personal choice for me that way. And then keep the speed at 85 and get the boost with the 88 acceleration, the 88 stamina. And then your defensive awareness is the only stat that's under 90. The rest are you know with those player skills man you're not going to have an issue now as we do on this as well lads there is no real comparison for a like for like gp player so we've kind of just uh picked Torreira, right so this guy obviously was on the books at arsenal for a while i'm not too sure if he's on loan with galatasaray still or is he with galatasaray still um but the uruguayan is a fantastic player if you're just looking to get something similar to davids he's not going to be anywhere near as solid as him but it is a nice building block if you are wondering you know um what davits will play like and if you're looking you know if you're playing in any tournaments that have like um you know restrictions to the players that you can use and stuff with no epics this guy has got a lot of the player skills the only player skill he doesn't have is blocker but blocker isn't too big of a concern because obviously you do have the ability to be able to throw additional stats onto our skills onto players similarly with davits i mean you could pop double touch and one touch pass onto davits here and have an absolute complete round um complete rounded uh beast on your hands so for me obviously as we said and we do look at other players i mean you can take a look at makalele here makalele is going to be very very similar um especially the epic version of him that was you know defensively wasn't that great but the legend version of him had got the acceleration and the pace right so even if you had the 10 levels um with this one it, you know you still were able to get that kind of up um to like the 80 mark and then defensively he was going to be solid that you didn't even need to really upgrade um any any defense really you could just pop the rest into lower body get that to 80 and then you could obviously pop up the dribbling to get the tight possession and the ball control up and then have one more for dexterity if you wanted to go that route but i think davits is probably the best dmf for that role to be zipping around blocking passing lanes interceptions hassling everything like that right barrios is another good option if you haven't played with barrios before um this guy is a beast he's got very good stats all around defensively as you can see here we can go into the 90s very easily with the stats you still have got your lower body which you can get to 80 um and then you also have your dexterity which can get to 80 dribbling and passing is going to take a hit obviously because he's not that type of player he's more suited as kind of a dmf but he does have double double touch one touch pass blocker interception sliding tackle man marking and fighting spirit so while davids is a very difficult player to rep uh recreate and get somebody like for like for him i definitely think he kind of slides into you know my kind of top five of players that are i won't say worth spinning because everyone has a different perspective you know whether they should spin or not if you you know have a lot of uh a lot of time put into the game and you don't mind putting in a few quid here and there if it's the only game you play and that's where you choose to spend your your game and money um that otherwise you know people might be buying different games um you're just playing this game then i would say that you know davids does join that list of you know davids Vieira, uh romario i would say beckenbauer and i would also probably say in my opinion maldini who are um you know like absolutely insane players in the game you know and obviously romario romanegi eto they all kind of slide into the same so that is it for the build for david slides let me know what you think i know a lot of the pros love this guy and a lot of the top 100 in the division ones love this guy as well so let me know for me i'm probably going to stick with makalele he's never steered me wrong but let me know what you guys think and i'll be back quite soon